Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So last month, during the whole Unity pricing fiasco, there was naturally a lot of conversation regarding engines in general, and there's one sentiment that kept popping up in various comments all over the place which I really don't agree with, and that is the sentiment that you should diversify yourself and learn lots of engines instead of just one. Now on the one hand, I kind of agree with that sentiment. If you know multiple engines and one of the engine makers is something really stupid like the original plan that Unity was going for, in that scenario, if you already know another engine then it makes it super easy to switch. So I can't see that benefit, where if you do need to switch and you already know something else that makes it super easy. But on the other hand, I think people are vastly underestimating just how much it matters to master a specific tool. If you're trying to keep up with multiple engines, multiple tools at the same time, you'll never really master any of them. And mastering a tool is basically a superpower that makes everything much, much easier. The difference in terms of productivity and efficiency between just being good at something and being an expert, the difference is massive. The benefits it gives you about being extremely knowledgeable about how your tool works and how to build whatever you want to build, that is really something that is insanely valuable and should not be underestimated. And that is really something that I think a lot of those commenters are missing when they say, sure, if you want, stick with Unity but learn Unreal at the same time, or try out Unreal but learn Godot at the same time. Now, I can agree with giving multiple engines a shot, just doing some surface level research in order to see how each one operates, how each one is good at some things and not so good at other things. But I really think that after a while you should pick just one, doesn't matter which one it is. All that matters is just pick one and just master that tool. Also, I want to be clear what I'm saying here has nothing to do with Unity specifically or any specific game engine. What I'm saying here is regarding mastering a tool, whatever that tool may be. So that can be Unity, it can be Unreal, it can be Godot, it can even be Blender or Maya, it can be GIMP versus Photoshop. The concept of mastering something versus just being good at it, that concept is really applicable to anything, not just any tool, not just Unity. Now, the thing that made me want to make this video is pretty much the last month where I definitely experienced this benefit firsthand. I just launched my latest game, Dinky Guardians, early this month, and one month before that, in early September, back then the game was in a completely different, completely unfinished state. I had to sprint like crazy and write an ungodly number of lines of code to build a ton of features to get the game ready for release in such a short period of time. In that month, there were many, and I do mean many problems, many examples of things that, if I was not as experienced with my game engine of choice, if not, I would not have been able to make the game in time. Things like, for example, the 3D UI. I wanted to make the game visually a bit more interesting, so I thought it would be really nice to make the UI in 3D. Also animate it and make some nice effects as you inspect the single machine. Now, if I did not have the 10 years of experience that I have with Unity, if this were the first time that I was going to build something like this, then just building this one simple feature, just building this would probably have taken me a week to research how to do it and actually implement it. Whereas in reality, thanks to all of my experience with the engine, building all of this took, I don't know, maybe just like three hours. I already knew that I could make a 3D world space canvas, I already knew how the volume system worked and how to add the depth of field effect, and I also already knew how to use Cinemachine to trigger a camera transition. Now, I already knew all of that because I had done it previously. This was not my first time working with any of these tools, any of these features. So this really is the power of experience, which is really just another name for mastering your chosen tool. Another example was in early September, the game did not have controller support, which for me was crucial. I absolutely wanted the game to be playable with a controller. And again, this is something where if it were my first time implementing it, it would have probably taken me over a week to get this done. But since I've already done this many times before, I literally just rewatched my own input system tutorial to get a quick refresher for how it all works. Then I refactored the code to implement gamepad support and everything worked in just one afternoon. Yet another example is the character customization. If I was not already extremely familiar with how components work, what is a mesh skin mesh renderer, how the UI buttons work and so on, if I did not have all of that knowledge, then again, building this scene would have taken over a week of work. Where in reality, building all of this took less than one day. Literally in the beginning of that day, this scene did not exist at all. I just had a rough idea in my head. And by the end of that day, I had this really nice 3D UI with this nice character, all of the buttons with all of the data loaded, all functional, nicely animated, everything working perfectly. I had all that alongside a character save system, which again, I did it the same way that I've always done it. It was really easy to save the character persistently because I already knew how to use player prefs. Synchronizing it in multiplayer was also very easy because again, I already know how to use netcode for game objects. So the fact that I already know so much about so many various topics because I've already done those previously in the past, because of that, I can build something complex like this in such a short period of time. Even the entire intro spaceship level, none of this existed just one month before release. So all of this scripted tutorial logic, all of the cutscenes, the video player, the placement of all the machines, all of the custom interactions, I built all of this in pretty much just about a week. So what I'm trying to say in this video is that it is much, much better to master one tool rather than just being mediocre or just decent at a handful of tools. 
especially as an indie dev, you need to be an absolute expert at using your particular tool. You need to be working at insanely high efficiency if you want to make it in this really tough business. And again, this is not specific to Unity. You can use whatever engine you want, whether it be Unity, Unreal, Godot, anything you want. My point with this video is really just to advise you to master a tool of your choice rather than try to learn five different ones. And I also don't want this video to come about as me bragging about my skills or anything like that. What I want to do with this video is literally the opposite of that. Personally, I don't believe that I'm special at all. I believe that you too can be as productive as I am. You too can build all of these features that I built in just one month. You too can produce a really complex game like this one that I made in just six months. Pretty much the only thing that stops you is probably the fact that you don't have the 10 years of experience and tens of thousands of hours that I have using Unity. I started using Unity all the way back in 2012 and I've made nine complete Steam games with it. Once you do have this level of experience, then you too won't be able to make such complex things so quickly. Basically, after using a tool for this long, there are very few things that are truly 100% new. By now, every new mechanic that I want to build, every new game, everything that I want to learn, everything is always somewhat related to something that I've learned in the past, which makes it so much easier to learn new things and build new things. So this is a topic that I really wanted to talk about because I saw a lot of people sharing comments with that sentiment of how you should really learn multiple engines at the same time. And personally, I don't think that's exactly the best approach. I think you should take your time to pick one engine, but then after you pick it, actually master that tool, learn everything about it so you can be extremely efficient with it. So I hope you found it helpful to hear my point of view on this. Check out Dinky Gardens on Steam. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.